Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today more League One content coming your way. We are having a look at the transfer business so far at every club and giving it a rating out of 10. Now I am aware we're a month away from the season starting and some teams haven't got their business going yet but this can be in terms of players leaving the football club, new contracts, players coming in. We're not going to talk about every player coming in but the main bulk of it. I'm going to give it a little rating so far out of 10. If this does well we'll do it again on September time when the transfer window ends Let's get into this video. If you are new, please subscribe down below. So much content coming your way before the July 30th of the season starting. Now, Accrington is a tough one for them because they've lost Sykes, who's a big, you know, big loss for them. He's played over 100 times for them. And Matt Butcher as well, who's been brilliant for them for the last two years, who they picked up from Bournemouth. Um, they, did, they have put in Matt Lowen, a non-league midfielder, a great journey where... He was a, nearly a pro at Cambridge and went to uni and went became a PE teacher. Now back in the professional game at 26 with with Stanley. Um, and Mo Sangre is a decent signing. Um, they've kept, you know, Bishop. You know, they've kept Nottingham. McConville's always going to stay. So I'll probably give them a 6 out of 10 um, so far. Barsley McCarthy's come in. Um, you know, Robbie Cundy's a very good signing. However, they've lost Corley Woodrow, which they were always going to do. You know, they've kept, you know, some other decent players at the football club. You know, they brought in a good manager as well, which has to go into fact. I'll probably give Barnsley an 8 out of 10 so far. It's been a, you know, a solid addition and, you know, something that, you know, we can, they, they can build on personally. Bolton. Now, they don't need to do much in this window. All they need to do is add a few players like they did in January. Now, they've added Trafford back, which is a huge signing for them. And they've also got Connor Bradley in on loan from Liverpool, who's a decent full-back and very, very, you know, promising as well. Um, that seems to be a Marlon Fossey replacement. They probably need maybe three or four new bodies just to freshen the squad up. But you've got to remember, they added six or seven players in January and kept them all on. So um, they've done a lot of their business already. So I'm going to give Bolton an 8 out of 10 because everything they've done so far has been, you know, really good. Bristol Rovers, James Connolly's come in, uh, which is a very, very... Um, good signing. I, I, I like that a lot. Um, they signed obviously the lad from Port Vale. Um, they signed Jordan Rossiter, which is a good signing. James Norwood apparently coming in as well. So, so far, Bristol Road is 8 out of 10. They are looking sharp in this window. And I probably have to go, you know, if you're giving Bolton an 8, you're going to have to probably go Bristol Rovers 8 out of 10 as well. Burton, they've not really done anything yet, but no players have really gone out. They've kept Hasselbank, obviously kept Dino. Michael Mancini signed a new deal, which is good for them. Um, they obviously kept Brayford, which is good news for them. Probably Burton a 6 out of 10. Not pulling up any trees just yet, but, you know, their business will begin immediately, I, I presume. Cambridge, now, when you leave, lose Jack Idale to the end of his contract... And they're always going to lose Wes Houlihan. Um, no, they haven't really brought anyone in of a great quality in yet. But they haven't really lost too many. They haven't lost Smith. They haven't lost Ironside. Um, I think um, you know they've got a couple of new deals, which is good as well. Probably have to go a same 6 out of 10 um, for Cambridge as well. Cheltenham. Now, they struggled. You know, they've lost Boyle. Um, Wright's gone back off loan. They've lost the manager. Um, Wade Elliott's come in. Do I think they've improved? If I'm honest with you, no. But they've still got Alfie May at that football club. And while they've still got him, he's still a respectable transfer window. And they've brought a couple of players in. So I'm going to probably just have to squeeze under a 7 on this one and go for a 6 out of 10. Charlton, they brought in Eggbo, obviously from Swindon, I like that connection. They brought Ben Garner in, which is a good appointment. Um, didn't do too well with Bristol Rovers, but 
Now, three managers they had that year, and none of them did any better than each other. Um, so I think they've had a decent window so far. Yeah, they've lost Connor Washington, but they're going to bring in some quality, and I know that. I'd probably go for a 7 out of 10 uh, for Charlton so far. Derby County, now, they're still here, which is good for them. Um, apparently, they're close to signing the goalkeeper. You know, Rooney's left, which, you know, is a big blow for them. I'll probably have to go 4 out of 10, considering the circumstances that they're in. Um, you know, it could be a lot, lot worse for them, but... It could also be a lot better for them. And losing Rooney, if they kept Rooney, they'd probably be about an 8 out of 10. Because in all the circumstances, they've still got a decent manager there. Exeter, again, they've kept the bulk of the squad. Uh, George Ray left yesterday for Barrow, which I don't think is a big loss for me. He only played 20 odd times for them um, in a few years there. Uh, the quality will start to come in at Exeter. So I'll probably go for a 6 out of 10. Steady start. Next up. Fleetwood. Now, I've been really impressed by my team's business so far. Josh Vellerin, uh, Jay Lynch is a backup goalkeeper, it seems. Josh Hill's a decent player um, at left centre half, fucking versatile at left back where Fleetwood need cover. Um, you know, Callum Morton coming back, really good signing. Uh, we're doing midfield, really good. Probably a seven. 7 out of 10 for Fleetwood. I think they've strengthened. There's still work to do on the defence side and maybe another striker slash a right wing. I think they're a bit weak in that area. And Brown coming in, excitement appointment. And they kept Paddy Lane so far. So I mean, it can all depend with Fleetwood. If they keep Lane, don't sign a winger. It could all go down to a 4. And if they keep Lane and sign another winger, it could be a, a 9 out of 10 um, type of winger. Forest Green, again, new manager Ian Birchinell come in. Decent appointment from the non-league. Did really well with Notts County the last couple of years. Unfortunately, not to be promoted. Amari Little's a good signing. Obviously, they've kept the bulk of the squad. They've lost Rob Edwards, which is a shame for them. I didn't like the way they did that, but they've moved on. You know, quite quickly, really. And, you know, that, that, that's quite good. Um, you know, they signed... And Corey O'Keefe, which I think is a decent signing as well. I probably have to go with maybe a 6 out of 10. The business could be a little bit better, but it's been shrewd so far, shall we say. Lincoln, good business so far. Charles Venom, Paul D. O'Connor coming in. Um, Oakley Bootle coming in on Monday, which is a very good signing as well. On loan, their loan signings in the last few years have been really good. So it's going to be hard to match that. The new manager I like as well. He seems very good. Um, I know our co-host Jake is very excited by the project down there on a four-year deal. Probably go for a 7 out of 10 for Lincoln. And they'll probably be looking for a strong top 12 finish after the disappointment of last year. Ipswich. Now, their business is always good. But this year I've been very impressed because they brought plays in with experience, a decent age and a sell-on value. Freddie Ladapo will get him 10 to 15 goals at this level. They're going to lose Norwood, so you know that'll free up wages for each other. Uh, Dominic Ball's a decent midfielder. He can play 35, 40 times a year for them. Um, you know, they've got Wes Burns and uh, Caden Jackson on new deals, which I think adds to that. And I think getting them two on new deals are better than any signing that they will make in this window because Wes Burns, in my opinion, was their best player last year. Um, for the creativity, for the goals, for the assists, uh, for the sheer like work rate on him. I know this from a Fleetwood point of view, but he's exceeded my point of view um, at, at town this year. And Greg Lee, energetic left back, um, you know, Jamaican international, come from Morecambe, so he knows his league, and you know, good signing for uh, the Tractor Boys. Next up, MK Dons. Now, Liam Manning has stayed. Positive number one. Positive number two and three aren't there because Scott Twine's gone to Burnley and Darling's gone to Swansea. They've made probably over five million quid, which is good. Uh, good for their football club, which will probably match their outgoings for the next 12 months. Uh, however, when you lose two of your best players, you lose, uh, you know, 40 odd goals came from those two players alone. And also as a defensive point of view with Darling. They brought Conor Grant in, which is a very good signing. Holland's a good signing. But because they've lost those players and not replaced them yet, I'll probably have to go for a 6 out of 10. Morecambe. Now, the business so far have been Morecambe-like. Um, you know, Love's coming. Conor Ripley is a decent signing. Now, it was only a few years ago he was a top keeper in League One with Oldham. 
Um, he did really well with Salford in the year, and Preston just seemed to have killed that momentum. I've always liked Conor Ripley, I'll be honest with you. Um, the other signings have been, you know, OK. They've not been too bad. And they've got a couple of players out that they didn't want. Best of all, Cole Stockton stays at the football club. So, for me, that's a positive. Probably go for 7 out of 10 uh, for Morecambe. Oxford. Now, they've got a lot of players now on new deals. Bowden new deal. Baldock new deal. It looks like McNally's going to leave for Burnley for 2 million quid. Robinson stayed. Uh, Brannigan is staying at this moment in time. So for me, Oxford, 7 out of 10, pretty strong start to the window. And Peterborough, now Clark Harris is still there, Smoddox is still there, McCann's coming, and they signed Ben Thompson. Now, Ben Thompson is a top player at this level. He was excellent for Portsmouth, and then went to Millwall and did it for a bit. Went to Gillingham, I don't know how Gillingham got him last year, he was one of their best players in a, an awful team. And he's a dynamic midfielder that can attack, that can score goals box to box, uh, can defend well as well. And he's capable of something special. So for Peterborough so far, 7 out of 10, they're the masters of just recruiting the top end League One players. Next up is Portsmouth. Marlon Pack's coming. They've let a few players go as well, which I like. They can rebuild. I don't think many will come through the door this year at Portsmouth. But I think they'll get five good ones instead of four good ones, two OK ones and two that are not going to be used. So I think that it's going to be recruitment so far. But I, all I can judge on so far, and so far it's a really good signing. Um, it's improved them. Um, and I think probably a seven out of ten. The problem is they're going to have to replace their good loan players, which Romero, Bazunu, obviously they don't want to mention. I'd say a seven out of ten for Porter so far. Plymouth. Now, Kamara's not gone yet, although he probably will go in the next few weeks. Mikael Miller is a very good striker at this level. Dynamic, quick, um, can score goals. Obviously, he did it with Rotherham last year. Um, they've kept the bulk of the squad. I think they've still got 16 or 17 players still in the books from last year. Um, so, not a huge turnover. So, again, 7 out of 10. Could be a little bit better, but solid start. Shrewsbury. Now, Good business so far. They signed Che Dunkley um, literally just before coming on air, uh, which is a top signing at League One level. Jordan Shipley is a very good player, Coventry City legend. Uh, De Costa on loan from Coventry. They might be Coventry City B team at this rate. Um, but Ryan Bowman should be back from obviously his heart problems, which is very good news. Um, so all's going well down there. Um, good, you know, they're doing good, good business. So I'm going to go an 8 for Shrewsbury so far. I think they can push on from last year. Port Vale. Now, you know, going in order of, you know, what where I went through. Now, Port Vale, you know, losing Gibbons is a big loss. But the keeper signing a new deal and Proctor signing a new deal. They've still got James Wilson. So I think they'll do a decent job this year. Probably a 6 out of 10 because they haven't strengthened too much yet. But their season literally ended four weeks ago. So for them... Bit difficult, I've taken that into account. Wickham, Stewart's gone, Stockdale's gone, right? Big losses. But Lewis Wing signed a new deal, uh, which is very good news as well. Dominic Gates signed a new deal. Uh, they've kept Sam Vokes, which is positive so far. They didn't sign Sam Vokes all the week before the season last year. They always take things slow and get their type of plays in. So I'm waiting for that to happen. Six out of ten for Wickham. Field Wednesday, wow. Will Vokes, Michael Smith, unbelievable player. You know, Will, Michael Smith will score 20 goals in the same team as Barry Bannon. You know, Barry Bannon's crossing ability, Michael Smith, bang, 1-0. Uh, David Stockdale is not a star signing, but has over 400 games to his name and decent keeper at this level. Ben Hennigan, top player at this level. Michael Hickway, top player at this level. It's like... How could their business get any better? Oh, yeah. You know, Malik Wilkes could be joining as well. So, to add to the squad that they've already got, it's got to be a 9 out of 10. Why is it not a 10? Because there's a couple of players there that they could bring in to even strengthen them further as a squad if you want to be fussy. But Wednesday, it's a good start. 
So there is today's video. I hope you've enjoyed. What's been your club's best signing in your opinion so far? And maybe where do you think you'll finish this year? Let me know in the comments down below. If you are new to the channel, please give this video a like if you've not already. Get notifications on down below. And also please subscribe. So much League One content coming your way. This is the home of the League One content. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I will see you later.